What is up? My fellow Tarhans, I'm Captain Baines. And welcome to High Fleet Flight to Haravera. Where we are getting ever so close to our final destination of this campaign. Haravera. And our mission today is to liberate all of the towns around Haravera before we can attack, or I mean, sorry, start our peacekeeping operation in Haravera. And so, let's not waste any time. Let us get the fleet prepared. And our first targets are going to be Creston and Tolus. So something like this, and then like this. After that, we are going to split the fleet uh, to go for Tagras from Tolus. Uh, from Creston, we're going to move on to Articelo. And of course, then we are going to encircle and uh, isolate Haravera from the other towns. So let us prepare our fleets, and we shall be on our way. Okay, first things first, let's uh, get these uh, guys from the Hidden City to join forces with the fleet at Gradat. Okay, uh... All right, so what just happened right now is uh, whatever thing that has radar, it has decided to take off because we just got reported at Gradat and Kastribalask. So what we should do is we should take off with the main fleet and these guys should also take off and actually join forces with the guys as I said before. Whatever is after us, it is after us. As you can tell by the Eland, uh, this radar signature is getting stronger, which means that whatever is coming after us, it's getting closer. Uh, let us use aircraft to investigate this uh, thing that's coming after us. It actually could be a garrison that's coming after us, or it could be that aircraft carrier. But... Uh, we're gonna have to definitely deal with that because, uh, well, we are going to have to go for Tolus and Creston. So let's see what they are and let us uh, destroy them accordingly. Uh, guys, don't land. You guys actually take off. Uh, they just sent a bunch of aircraft after Gradat. Nine aircraft to be exact. And I haven't found a singular thing. Okay, fair enough. I guess I'll just return my recon plane. And, uh, okay. I guess what we could do, actually, is uh, land some of these guys at Balchik. Give us intel. Or, alternatively, we could actually already try to liberate Creston. We could actually try that. You know what? Main fleet, go for Gradat. Uh, same with you guys. Despite the fact that uh, this group tried to airstrike this area. Because what we're going to do is we're pretty much just going to liberate these two towns right now. Let's also make sure that there's nothing here that could bother us. Let's check Creston. It's just a garrison, okay. Now, before we do anything that could uh, get us in trouble, let's first send a missile into Creston. Incoming 
it's going to give us an idea of what ships are in Kriston. Uh, hopefully, this, it's also going to give us a good number of the ships that there are there. So let's see. Phoenix, Savan. One thing I've just realized is that the Safa does have radar. So what I can try to do is, I could try sending all of my, well not all of them, actually just two of my uh, anti-radiation missiles from this fleet. And I'll also send one missile from the main fleet to Creston. Hopefully, this should be able to kill the Safa. Let's see what happens. Okay. Uh, Gladiator, yes, this. Okay. Hopefully the sprints shouldn't kill it immediately. Oh. Okay, this should be the killing blow for the Savan. Hopefully at least, I don't know. Okay. Maybe the Savan needs more missiles. Uh oh. To all ships unidentified range. <gasps> oh shit. They detected us on uh, their Elint. Shit. This is bad. I forgot to turn off my radar. Okay, you guys go back to Balchik. Uh, same with you, actually. Okay, let's hope that this missile kills the Sava. If it doesn't, it's not such a huge deal, actually. Uh, you know what? I do have more missiles in the cargo hold of this fleet, so let's just launch one more, and hopefully this will kill the Sava. And also, uh, let's send some aircraft to cover our fleet, in case they decide to send an airstrike after our fleet. Kill the Sava. In the name of Ishu, kill the Sava. The Sava is not dead. That is very unfortunate. I hate that I did not kill the Sava. I really hate the fact that I didn't kill this kill it. Do you think I could Okay, uh planes, can you intercept these guys? before they lock onto my fleet. Okay, AAMs, uh, kill everything. Oh, is that a new sound? Fuck. All of my T7s were killed. And I highly doubt that I even killed any of the airplanes. Hopefully the planes should not circle around to our fleet, hopefully. But if that does happen, I am going to have to fend them off with my ships and sprints. Uh, whatever it is, it, it is getting closer. So what I'll do is, I'll actually send a LA-29 to check what is following us. Actually, maybe I'll send a couple LA-29s to check what is following us. We just lost our T-7s, which is not good. The enemy airstrike was actually prepared enough to send their own AAMs after us. Okay, here we go. Uh, this is the aircraft carrier that is following us. So, yes, indeed, this is the radar signature. It is that aircraft carrier. My suggestion is to wait for it to land, and then we'll fight it. So you guys, okay, the small ships, 
are going to land at Baltic. The main fleet... Okay, how long is it going to take them to get to Gradatz? How long? Okay, so in 3.7 hours, uh, these guys are going to land at Gradatz. They don't seem to know that we've headed off for Balchik. So what I'll do is, I'll try to get the small ships, or should I get the big ships to fight these guys? How long is my fleet going to take? Okay, 6.2 hours. Oh. Okay, you know what? Main fleet, set course for this aircraft carrying group. Small ships, you land at Balchik, get intel, and uh, also get, give us intel on uh, anything that could be potentially trouble. Okay, that thing just showed me everything except for the group that I was going to look for. Uh, now, Odysseus, can you reach there? Nice, you can reach there in 3.8 in hours, which is perfect. It is quite perfect that you can do that. Oh, I just realized, this cargo convoy, Simum, is heading for the guys at Balchik. Well, it's not going to be a huge deal. I'm just going to make them turn away, or I could capture them, either way. But, I also just saw that I think the Odysseus just got reported. So, yes, all ships bearing 180. Wait, 180? Oh, I'm an idiot. Uh, bearing 180 means that they're somewhere here. Means that they're somewhere here. There we go, okay. Uh, okay, I'm not gonna use the Altairs. Because they have a small uh, radar. I'm gonna send the Odysseus after this aircraft carrier. And I'll keep a lookout. Actually, it might be a good idea to switch on the radar. Yeah, see? They are somewhere there and they're also jamming, believe it or not. This must be a really advanced aircraft carrying group. I have never seen an aircraft carrier group with jammers and acting like a strike group. They're acting like a proper strike group. Except they're not sending shitloads of missiles at us. Not yet, anyway. They're going to send aircraft after us, though. Probably. I mean, they already did, so they should be facing a cooldown right now. Okay, this these contacts are my little planes coming back but wait if you just take a look here just for a second you see this line right here you see this one right here that is the enemy uh, sometimes you can actually see uh, things even if they are jamming if the jamming signal is not very strong all right I'm guessing it's a head-on battle kind of thing. All right. Let's go in balls deep. Let's kill that aircraft carrying group. Whatever it's made of. I mean, the Odysseus will take anything at this point. Oh, it's a Republica. And a Navarian. Ha! Huh. You know what? Let's use proximity fuses. No, actually, no, let's not. Let's not. All right, let's go, bitches! Republica! Come here. Let's first kill the Navarian, actually. And also the planes. One 
thing that's nice is that this this ship has a good enough sea waist to stop uh, enemy artillery. The enemy artillery is in small amounts anyway. So this battle shouldn't be so rough. I mean, we're already pelting the Republica so bad. It's insane. That's not a big deal. We didn't lose the ship though, and <laughs> we won the battle. Alright. Uh, this heavy aircraft carrying group has been destroyed. Mm, let's rescue... I think the planes. Yeah, let's rescue the planes. <laughs> Dismantle jammer? I have never seen a jammer in salvage operations. I've never seen that. Let's also save the sprints and also the fuel. And after that, we're going to save some of the guns here. Okay, cool. Now you just fly to Gradatz. Actually, no, you refuel, actually. Get fuel and then fly to Gradatz. Ooh. Okay, so that was uh, battle at Gradatz. <sighs> it was that aircraft carrier that was sitting in Tolus. But um, this is a problem, because right now, what we've just done is we raised local alarms. And that means that we are not going to be able to do silent strikes from now on, uh, in this area anyway. At least for the next 24 hours or so. That means my small ships are going to have to rest for a little bit. Or, at least what I can do is, I could try refitting some of these missiles on the Yars. Okay, the main fleet is just going to refuel. They're going to receive fuel and also any repairs that actually need to be done. Actually, I do have Merkinos and Hellcat. Oh, by the way, I also decided to... Uh, change the 130 millimeter guns back to 100 millimeter guns because I've checked and yes when I do put molots on this ship uh, it's underpowered and my turrets were moving slowly and my ship was just slow in general so uh, if you ever get a Merkinos just don't put don't, don't change the guns it's going to affect your power consumption quite a lot uh, anyway do 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 an extra plane doesn't hurt. Okay, route Vizier Baltic. Or O. Oh, cargo or Simum. Okay. Uh what I'm gonna do is I'll actually have these guys actually capture the cargo convoy. These guys are going to capture a cargo convoy, which is going to soon approach Balchik. And we're going to capture the cargo silently. If we can, anyway. I think I don't think that that's actually possible. Because the alarms are raised already. They're going to be alert. Um, but if I wait out the alarms... Can, I, can we wait out the alarms? I fear if we wait out the alarms, the cargo convoy is just going to keep moving. And I would much rather have them stay at Balchik, and then we'll capture them silently. And then we're going to do the rest of the mission silently. But if we can't do anything silently, we're just going to move on with this campaign. Loudly. Let's get these guys to land somewhere away from Balchik. Wait for this cargo convoy. And then we're going to capture them, and we'll sell them for money. Uh, the cargo convoy, not my ships, of course. We do also need a little bit extra money for the rest of the campaign, so we are for sure going to capture the cargo. Now, the main fleet. Uh, you guys are getting fuel. And I don't think that there's anything that could be potentially 
detecting us or trying to at least find us. So I think we're just going to chill out until the, until the alarms go away. Then we're going to plan an attack on Creston and Tolus. Ooh, wait a second. I should send a lightning to go for Kastri Balask. I'm gonna buy a couple components from Kastri Balask and we'll install those in the main fleet before we, of course, do anything else. So I'm just gonna do that in just a second. Oh, speaking of, uh, we just got a radar contact, which hopefully should be the cargo convoy heading towards us. Yes, indeed, it is the cargo convoy. Let's have these guys take off. Uh, wait for the cargo convoy to land. Just make them fly away just for a little bit. Okay, let's just keep a lookout on the radar. Uh, wait until the contact goes away. Just maybe also wait a couple hours. And then we're going to capture them. Uh, keep in mind there's also alarms raised, so we're going to have to wait for that. Okay. Uh, shopping. Shopping, shopping. Let's go shopping. Let's buy these missiles. Let's buy... T7s. It's going to cost a lot, but I am going to make this up with the cargo that we're going to capture. Maybe a couple Zenith missiles, that would be nice. Palash for replacement. Um, otherwise, I don't see any more components that we need. So yeah, okay. Lightning. Yeah, we good. Okay, now let's focus on the cargo convoy right now. Wait for them to land. Are they getting closer or is their radar signature... Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Their radar signature has just disappeared. Which means that they have just landed. Let's wait a couple more minutes. Maybe an hour or so. Just maybe for an hour or so. Like, like that maybe. Oh shit. I waited way too long. Uh, you know what? Who gives a shit? Just capture it. Yeah, okay. You know what? We're gonna have to do this loudly. Who gives a shit? Let's just, ca let's just capture them. Alright, let's go. Dodge this missile. Okay, nice. Ooh, get a, we got an upgrade. Uh, let's do veteran pilot. Fly back to Balchik. Oh no. That is an Altair flying straight at us. What the fuck is shooting Altairs at us? <gasps> okay, uh, we just got a radar signature. It's still coming from somewhere from the south. And uh, it's the strike group. It's a strike group, for sure. They have Altairs. It's gonna hit one of the lightnings. Oh, fuck this. Well, I guess we have no choice. Oh, it hit the cargo ship. That's not good. Ah, evasive maneuvers. Okay, this Altair is not going to hit us, though. Oh. oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, 
Okay. Uh, what do we do in this situation? What would I do in this situation? Okay. Everyone calm the fuck down. We don't know if this is a strike group. Okay. All we know is that there's a ra radar signature coming from that direction. Okay, lightning. You go back to the main fleet. Main fleet, send an aircraft to investigate. What this is. And you guys just try to evade whatever is coming after you. And you guys, you guys, you guys actually go to the main fleet. Actually, no, you shouldn't. You should supply fuel to these guys, actually. You should you should help these guys. These poor sods. Okay, let's comb this area. Oh, shit. Uh, okay. Mm, bearing 330. What does that mean? Ah, uh, wait. Wait, what? It's way over there. Huh. Okay. Uh, it seems like this strike group France has caught up with us. And is now sending missiles after us again. Contact. Yeah. Let's just turn the ships right back around. Oh yeah. They are definitely close. The strike group is so close. It is crazy. Wait, are my ships gonna get hit? No, they're not. Hopefully not. Oh, no. Do I have jammers? I don't have jammers. Shit! Well, we're gonna have to brace this one then. No, my lightning! My lightning! No, Murkinos! Oh no, it's so damaged. Oh shit, it's going to actually die. And I have no idea where the strike group is. Zero clue. Wait, okay. Send plane right here. I really want to find out where that strike group is. Just so that I can launch a bunch of missiles at him. See what their strengths are. So much for trying to go into Haravera. Looks like we're gonna have to deal with the strike group now. We can't move on forward. We have to deal with them. Unfortunately. As misleading as the introduction to this video was. Okay, now the missiles are heading for my main fleet. This is not good. Looks like we're gonna have to retreat to Tolos now. Yep, that is uh, enemy missiles heading for my main fleet. Let's deploy Odysseus. Actually, no, let's launch an Altair. Whew. We were so lucky, the Altair destroyed. Uh, the enemy missile. Okay, cool. Uh, okay, now the main fleet is going to set off for Tolos. Yeah, okay, now we're gonna have to move our fleet north now. Okay, uh, here. 
the strike group is right here. This is France. So France, I'm gonna launch a bunch of missiles at you, okay? You just sit there for just a second. Oh no, this strike group is mean. Look at this, two Hagrianians, a Zephyr. And also a Resus, I think. Yeah, now these guys... I don't think we can kill them strategically. Just because they have just so many sprints, it's insane. Uh, can we install more missiles? Okay, 1.1 hour. Do we have that much time? Oh! We just got a bunch of money. Okay. Uh... Now? Okay. They have a lot of sprints. It's insane. Okay, I'm getting these guys out of here. Oh shit, we're gonna get onto their radar though. Well, we're dead. This fleet right here is dead. Uh... It's dead. It's officially dead. Yeah, this fleet is dead. One of our lightnings is dying for sure. <laughs> no, Merkinos. No! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Yars! <laughs> Yars! We don't have a jammer on this thing, which is bad. Well, I mean, it doesn't really matter. They got us on their fire control radar. That's the thing. Oh uh, no! Oh no! <laughs> I thought France was like going to take a while to catch up with us. Apparently, it didn't take long for them to catch up with us. I honestly thought they were so far away. Evasive maneuvers. Oh no. Evasive man maneuvers are not working. Ah no, Eri! Yet! Eri! No! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! It seems like my main fleet is also going to get reported. Ah, uh, this is absolute pain. Uh, okay. We don't really have any other choice but to fly to Tolus. Or actually, maybe Creston would probably be a better option. Because at least we can repair our stuff a little easier over there. So you know what? Let's go to Creston. Let's fight the garrison there. And we shall await the strike group over there. Uh, hopefully... Oh, okay. Okay, the strike group is still coming after us. They still are. But my ships are faster, so it's it's gonna work. Everything will be completely fine, guys. Okay, what I wanted to do is... Uh, should I send... No, 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 it's okay. Oh, that's a problem. What we've just found is another thing in Tolus. Okay, the thing in Tolus is definitely a Sava. It's not a strike group, it's just a Sava. Because um, it is emitting radar, but it's not It's not a strike group for sure. It's a garrison ship in Tolus which has radar, and that's the Sava. Uh, okay, this lightning can definitely not fight. So let's just have these guys land. 
And the main fleet is going to fight at uh, Creston. Unfortunately. You know what? Let's just fight. Whatever this is, we're going in balls deep. Oh. I did not know it was going to end like this. Um, okay. Use all of the sprints. Okay, here. Uh, let's do this like this. Uh, Odysseus, cover us. Okay, let's use an altar. That didn't kill the missile. Hopefully the uh, Odysseus will kill the missile. Okay, use all of the sprints. I cannot afford to have any of my ships killed. Okay, where is it coming from? Wait, that must be the missile, right? Is it? Okay, it's a missile. Uh, you know what? Let's have planes. Uh, also Odysseus. Did it, did it did that T7 just kamikaze this missile? What? Okay, that was that was brave, but stupid at the same time. Uh, okay, you did save our fleet though. Uh, they're still coming after my uh, my main fleet. Ah, uh, let's use an Altair again. You know what, let's detach some of the smaller ships that I cannot afford to get killed. Uh, away from the main fleet. Let's do it like that also. Okay, uh, the garrison knows everything about uh, us going into Creston. So we're just gonna have to fight the garrison. I'm assuming... It's this uh, missile aircraft carrying group that's sending missiles into Creston, or not Creston, our main fleet. All right, let's do this. Let us do this. Let's go, bitches. Oh no, I started very unlucky. There's a ship right below me and it just sent a missile after me. Safa is terrible at stopping missiles. That's one thing. God damn, is the Safa is just terrible at stopping missiles. Kill this thing, please. Ah, uh, come on. Okay, now the Phoenix. My mortal enemy. Two of my mortal enemies are the Telemachus and the Phoenix. They are both so annoying. It's insane. Yes! Okay, Creston has been liberated. Rescue. Uh, what's on the radar? Okay, that's definitely something. Uh, Odysseus, you intercept whatever is on the radar. 
Wait, that doesn't seem to be like a fast moving object. Oh, it's two aircraft. Okay, Odysseus, go after them, please. Kill this aircraft. That would be nice. Wait, I don't have any sprints. What? Hello? Okay, they just sent aircraft after me. Okay, that um, I guess I guess that makes sense. Understandable. Have a nice day. I guess. Oh, okay. Mm. Shit. Uh. All right. This makes our situation a whole lot more complicated. Originally, I was thinking that the strike group. France is so far away that we could literally just be as loud as possible and would be okay. But apparently the strike group proved me wrong. And now w our main focus should be to destroy that strike group that's coming after us. But I think I might have actually already wasted a lot of time in this episode trying to run away from them. So unfortunately, I might have to call it an episode here. This is going to have to be it for this one. I hope you guys are enjoying this campaign so far. Uh, I am a little bit. And I hope you guys are looking forward to how the rest of the campaign will go. Hopefully, we're not going to be absolutely doomed just because of one strike group. <laughs> we'll see what happens. But uh, yeah, if you're new here, here is the playlist for Flight to Haravera. Uh, bottom left, top right, uh, top left is the random video, and on the right is uh, channel logo. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all in in the next one.